Hi, this video will demonstrate that it is really a benefit for you as a furniture maker already working with and designing your cabinet with IronCat to switch with our add-on catalog called Oikima, which is optimized for cabinet makers. Um, this is a good example of a furniture that has been designed in IronCat. Uh, the problem is um, that it is not possible to, to stre stretch it and change and edit the dimensions on the fly. And also that it is um, very annoying that we can't get uh, straight uh, to the CNC machine with the necessary drillings and stuff like that. So I will demonstrate that with Oikema you will work much, much faster and have the benefit of the CNC machine even for nesting machines. So the idea to, is to start from scratch and design a new cabinet uh, with those dimensions for example with a depth of uh, 560 millimeters and I will click on this icon to select which configuration I would like to work with. Well, working with one of those five configurations gives you the guarantee that you can remain parametric and each and every part that will be dropped later in the cabinet will be talking to each other. We even have different ways to for assembling the top and the bottom and if you work with a bag you have three different ways of managing your bags. So, um, I select this, uh, this material and I would like to create uh, two uh, simple variables. One would be called plint and would set the height of the plint and another one would uh, be called TL and you will see why I have created this variable later. So, in this case, um, remember our model we have uh, seen in IronCat, I will uh, edit the dimension of uh, <coughs> this TL uh, top part and I will assign automatically the value of my variable uh, TL. Um, and I need to copy this, uh, this uh, new element and actually I need to move it forward and I do it very a uh, very simple way if you are if you're used to uh, working with parameters in IronCat you know how sometimes it could be difficult but here I would just uh, call the prof uh, variable and uh, subtract the uh, TL uh. so by the way I forgot to uh, drop the plane so I'm going to do it right now okay and uh, I'm going to rename it as plint to make things clear, print, fine. And let's say that I would like to uh, drop again my uh, dowels uh, features, like this one. And I just select my special configuration and make a mirror. And here it is, I have my uh, cabin ready. So actually, this this cabinet could be already dropped in my in my uh, new catalog uh, called my cabinets because this is this could be the start of a new uh, series uh, of models of different models of. Okay, now remember this was the cabinet I was supposed to um, to copy, and uh, to make this cabinet uh, in Oikima, I thought that it would be nice to to have a special uh, Legra box uh, cabinet like uh, this one and I have edited my drawer which is a broom Legra box with um, one special feature which, that is used in this uh, design it's a horizontal, horizontal part because if you look at the way I'm going to design my new cabinet I'm going just to drop my first uh, model my simple basic uh, cabinet okay and um, I'm going to, um, curiously enough, I'm going to um, delete uh, the second top. I'm going to delete this one, uh, delete element. And now I'm going to just drop my special drawer uh, that has been uh, edited in order to uh, be exactly the way it was supposed to be in the IronCat 
a catalog. So here you can see I have called the drawer placement wizard. I called the Legrobox 500M40 uh, and I just set the number of uh, drawers to um, f four. Um, I have set here different values for D1 to D4 and for example the uh, space between two uh, fronts uh, of the drawers should be set here to 5 mm. And if I click on this icon, you will notice that the um, gliders, uh, the bloom gliders of the Legro box, are going to be uh, set inside and moved inside the, the cabinet. Well, uh, at this uh, point, I can validate and I drop the update feature and this has, uh, has f effect that every drilling is now uh, calculated and set correctly to the place in order to uh, generate automatically the codes for um, the CNC machine. And that's it actually. This, the good thing is that if you uh, take this uh, lateral, for example, I will uh, unselect the other parts, you can notice that we have indeed uh, the drillings and this will be automatically uh, translated into a CNC code for your CNC machine. The second very important thing, I hope that you will appreciate, I can, by the way, uh, drop, uh, I rename this uh, cabinet uh, and say this is uh, my cabinet with drawers with Legra box, for example. Okay. If I look inside uh, the cabinet, you see that I have exactly the configuration that was set in the IronCAT uh, file. And now the, the ID is that I will, uh, of course, uh, drop this cabinet into uh, my new catalog because I would like to. Um, use it later. Okay, so uh, the next uh, very important thing is that, of course, I can uh, <clears throat> edit the dimensions and I can even, if I want, edit the number of drawers I would like to have, and this is automatically done. And, and that's it, that's uh, you know, with one simple item, with one simple uh, catalog item. I can do a lot of different things and that's why Okima is really fully parametric and fully, parameter, fully parametric and fully flexible enough so you don't need to have a catalog with 100 different models it's faster to, to start from a basic cabinet and that's the way we're going to demonstrate this in the next uh, presentation so this is this is a, a new uh, a new uh, cabinet but it's not necessary to drop it as a catalog item because it's uh, faster to edit the first uh, uh, item from your catalog into a five drawers uh, cabinet now imagine that um, i would like to make uh, a cabinet a cabinet with uh, one or two doors i would start from my basic uh, cabinet right and in this case i would for example uh, drop some kind of uh, what I call the IKEA features of fitting features, which are uh, multi holes like this one. Okay, I'd like to have uh, the traditional 32 millimeter uh, multi holes. Okay, and now I would like uh, to to drop uh, the doors or to start with one door. I would like to set it to, uh, let's say, one door, okay? And I can uh, isolate uh, this door, for example. And I would say that um, <clears throat> I would like to drop, of course, uh, two, two hinges. So I call my place hardware feature and I browse to my catalog of uh, hardware. And here I have uh, hinges insert a, a bloom insert for example uh, a kind of uh, uh, hinge would would be very very great and i just set the the distance here to uh, <clears throat> let's say 80 millimeter and i have here indeed my <clears throat> uh, uh, hinges okay so i click show all and i would just like to uh, uh, 
set the grain direction of my door. Uh, I would like to uh, make some uh, borders all around, okay? And this will be my reference for the CNC table, okay? So, um, again, um, regarding the grain direction, I would set it to, to the length. Now, it's quite simple. I have set now uh, a very uh, simple um, item, new uh, catalog item, and I could, again, drop this into uh, my catalog because it might be useful later. And if I want uh, to make a two-door uh, ca cabinet, I just need to edit this parameter. And you see, uh, if I... I'm just going to show you this this way, okay? You can notice that actually on the second door, my hinges are not on the right side, but it doesn't matter because when you uh, set the quantity of doors to two, you could set it to uh, the other side of the door. And well, let's say this is working just fine. So right now I have a stupid and busy catalog here with two, uh, three items actually. For example, I can uh, drop my uh, cabinet with Legro box. And I could set for just by the side uh, a, cat a, a cabinet with one door. And I could set uh, another another catalog uh, on another, another cabinet with two doors. I would like to uh, set it to uh, 800, for example. And here I would just have to set add-on properties to two. Okay. 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 Now here I have uh, three cabinets. By the who, by the way, we have many special features. We can do a lot of things. For example, I could uh, isolate this uh, door, and I could just make sure that I would like to drop a kind of uh, edge block in right in the middle. Okay. And uh, for example, I can set it to. Uh, uh, let's say um, 150 like this okay and I could just uh, do this and I could even if I want rotate this uh, um, cut and, and do whatever whatever I want I can do and drop special features like for example a outline what is a outline I would just need to select one edge, for example, and here I could assign um, a cutter I have. This is uh, uh, probably not the right uh, thing to do, but uh, let's say if I can find um, a special simple arc like this, okay, so um, this will be automatically uh, processed by the, the CNC machine, uh, of course. I could uh, even make some pockets, I could make slots, I could do a lot of things thanks to uh, my uh, features that are available uh, on uh, our key. I can, uh, for example, also hide the uh, texture. And uh, right now on my cabinet number two, I'm going to select the door and I'm going to just erase my edge block because this is not what I want. And on the cabinet number three, uh, we're going to select door one. And I think I have kind of outline right here. Okay, so this is uh, a very uh, simple project. And by the way, you can edit dimension here very easily. And this should be uh, set to the same uh, <clears throat> to the same uh, height, for example. You have different features here that allows you to do the, this automatically. Okay, so let's say that this is ready for uh, the production uh, and I would like to send this on my uh, CNC machine. So first I'm going to generate the bill of material. Uh, bill of material, I'm going to uh, give um, a special uh, index to each and every part. And I can even set uh, the cabinet uh, name automatically and I would do it uh, this way. So you see that we have now uh, cap 1, cap 2, and cap 3 in the iron cat scene on the left of your, sc of your screen. And as a result, we have different cutting list uh, layouts available depending of what you would like to uh, 
use later. You could export this in Excel in different various formats. We also have a TXT file. And here we have also the bill of material uh, saying that we have in total uh, 4.46 square meter of uh, panels, uh, as many edge bending. And we have here a listing of the hardware that has been used for this project. And we have the cost of the material, uh, namely here 94.89 uh, euros. These are fancy prices, but you can assign prices per unit to each hardware and prices per square meter for material. So this is a very interesting feature if you want to make uh, quotations, for example. Well, so far so good. I'm almost ready to uh, send this uh, little project to uh, the production. And in the next video, I will demonstrate how I'm going to optimize this uh, cutting list and generate automatically the CNC codes for a nesting machine, um, BSC, BSC B solid um, nesting machine.